How's it going, everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech and also to my little surprise box here from MSI. Now, I have taken a look at a few Z690 boards previously. I even have still one from MSI that I need to do, but I haven't taken a look at any of the B660 boards, which is the more affordable options for the new LGA 1700 socket from Intel. But that's about to change because we have a nice little package here, a media kit from MSI with a CPU, with some RAM, when we of course a board which we're going to take a look at and then later on we'll do not like a nice build on it as well now this is just going to be an unboxing of the board it's not going to be a full in-depth review so just keep that in mind but when you open it up we get our little manual editor's note here just some details on but we actually want to check out the MAG B660M Mortar Wi-Fi board. Just a quick shout out to the MSI Shoutout program, which is a way for you to actually get $20 of Steam codes when purchasing selected MSI products and publishing a review on an approved site. So how it works is you just buy a product like the new MSI B660M Mortar motherboard, you register it on MSI's website, then you go and write a review on one of the approved sites like a take a lot or woodware for here in South Africa. Finally, all you need to do is submit that review and once MSI has confirmed it, you will get your Steam code to buy some new great games to play on your new hardware. Just make sure again that the product and also the website is approved by MSI on their site, but it's as easy as that. So just give it a go and get your $20 of Steam codes pretty much for free. So again, this is my first B660 board that I have featured here on the channel. And it is a nice little more mid-range board. But underneath the board, which we're gonna take a look at, you get a nice little surprise here as well, because here we have Intel MSI and a Kingston Fury. Intel, Kingston, and MSI have worked together to provide you a special press kit. Inside you will find our highest quality hardware featuring a 12th generation. Uh, we'll leave it at that. We're gonna see that now. So underneath here we have our RAM and then underneath here we have, we can actually take this out. So inside here we have a little surprise, which is the wrong way around. <laughs> we have our CPU. And here we have our nice little i5-12400. So this is the newest budget option for the i5 range and I'm really hearing good things about the CPU. It's retailing for around 210-ish dollars. Here in South Africa, I'm not exactly sure on the price, I can't remember, but it's not going to be that much, probably around like 6,000 Rand. And then we can move on towards our memory here. So this is the Kingston Fury Beast Memory, and it is a 32 gig kit with a two 16 gig modules. It's a DDR5, of course, and then it's running at 5,200 MHz CL40, if time is off 40 and 40. So. If we could take a look at these, I have actually featured some of these on the channel previously, but here we have it with our MSI board here. So nice basic RAM with a nice black heat spreader, not too high as well, so it should fit underneath most air coolers. So nice RAM right there. All right, so here we have the MAG B660M Mortar Wi-Fi board. Now, currently it is retailing for around $180 or 5,000 Rand for here in South Africa. And it is the DDR5 version, but you also do get a DDR4 versions. And then also you do have some with Wi-Fi and some with not. So you do have plenty of options with the Mortar series. Now, if we get, get it out of the box here, just put it here on the side, you can already see a smaller design, get a two SATA uh, cables, you have your Wi-Fi and antennas, you have a nice set of additional screws here or screwdrivers, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can never have a too many screwdrivers, just put it somewhere else. You have your, looks like a, a lock here, which we're gonna check out. It's first time that I'm seeing it that from MSI. You have a nice little badge, you have an additional lock it looks like, I think these are for the M.2s. You have the DVD, you have some stickers. So Ruan unfortunately is not editing this video, but he would be excited for some stickers. You have your welcome or thank you for choosing card. 
have some additional cards there. You have, a, you have MSI shoutout program. So if you review some of the products, you can actually win some Steam gift cards. So maybe I'll get some Steam gift cards. <laughs> and then also you have some additional quick start guide. And then of course the manual always handy to have your manual as well. So there we can see. All right, then and now we can take a look at the board. Like I said previously, these are the more affordable options for the new 12th generation CPUs from Intel. And again, this one is retailing for around $180 or 5,000 Rand, which is around 50 to $70 cheaper or 1,500 to 2,000 Rand cheaper than the Z690 equivalent of boards. You do save quite a bit there, but you won't necessarily get all of the additional features. But also for most people that you don't really need everything, where I think this is a much, much better option actually to go for. You save quite a bit and you can spend more on let's say your GPU or maybe your RAM or CPU even. So moving on to the design, you still get the same black and silver-ish color scheme with your VRM heat spreaders, your IO cover here. This is all aluminum. It spreads all the way to the IO cover there. Your M.2s does also have nice heat sprayers along with your chipset. You do actually get this more silver-ish design and then also the black version as well. But not all of them are exactly the same. Some are Wi-Fi, some are not. Some are DDR4, some are not. So just, just take a look at which one you want to go for now as you guys can see it is a bit shorter than most other boards because this is an m80x board so you do lose some a piece of express slots down here you usually get around like three but with these ones you don't but they usually are a bit cheaper and then also they do fit in smaller cases which is nice for like a media system but it of course doesn't impact performance if you guys were wondering then next up for our CPU socket, of course, like I mentioned previously, this is the LGA1700 socket for the new 12th generation Intel CPUs. And it only fits, unfortunately, the 12th generation Elder Lake CPU. So just keep that in mind. But with the B660 range now, it's gonna work perfect for any non-K CPU, or even if you want to, you can. You can kind of overclock, but I wouldn't necessarily go that far. Der Bauer did, was able to actually overclock your CPU with a B660 board, but I wouldn't go that far because it will definitely avoid your warranty on both your motherboard and your CPU. But you do have the option of going for something again, like the 12400, for example, or maybe the 12600. Or even if you wanted to, because we'll get into that, you might even be able to use like the i9 12900 also, because I'm kind of surprised that you have dual 8-pin CPU power connectors, which is going to supply plenty of power again. So for if you want to pair it up with i9, you can. But also your VRM setup is going to be imported. And I don't think that's necessarily going to be a problem with this board because you do get a 12 plus 1 plus 1 power delivery system, which looks to be pretty good. I don't have the exact components used, but I haven't had any issues with any previous boards, especially from MSI. So I don't think that's going to be a problem and the heat sprayers look pretty decent as well. Now, let's move on towards our memory because this is where these ones come into play, of course, because this is a DDR5 board. Now, like I mentioned previously, you do have the DDR4 version as well if you want to save some cash there, but you do have this one if you want to pair it up with some of these. Now, of course, these ones do run at 5,200 megahertz, but this board can go up all the way to there we go, 6,200 megahertz, which is just a bonkers, honestly. So let's just get that one in. As you guys can see, all nice. Looks perfect right there. So you get a four dual channel DIMMs here with a max capacity of 128 gigs. So four 32 gigs, you want to go in that far. And I'm sure Kingston will be able to provide that for you as well. Then moving on towards our PCI Express slots down here, the Z690 boards does support the new PCI Express 5 interface. However, I've only seen a couple of B660 boards that actually support that as well. Majority of them only support PCI Express 4. That goes for the Mortar here, and I think pretty much all of MSI's boards, which honestly isn't a problem because you don't need that extra bandwidth there's currently nothing that really supports that so why pay you more for something that you're not going to use in a multiple of years so pci express f4 is the way to go which is still 
so so fast anyway <laughs> then for the mortar you do have your single piece of express for a slot running at 16 times speed with that armor design as well to support heavier gpus or just prevent the board from actually bending and then at the bottom here is your other full length slot but it's only a piece of express three slot and running at eight times speed and then the final smaller one here in the middle is also only piece of express three and it is a 1x slot then as for storage, you do have uh, four SATA ports here on the side with two additional ones down here. And then you get uh, two uh, PCI Express uh, 4 M.2 slots, both uh, with heat spreaders over them as well. And these ones are perfect if you want to pair it up with something like a Kingston's own Fury Renegade SSD. I actually did already make a video on that one. So if you want to check that out, you can. But then also, of course, you do have uh, some from MSI as well. The Spatium uh, M30 and 390. Nice little one terabyte drive that we're going to take a look at. This one is only PCI Express 3, but the Kingston Renegade is PCI Express 4, but it's going to work perfectly for both of them. Then something to keep in mind is that if you do use the bottom M.2 slot, SATA 8 will be disabled. So of course, just keep that in mind. Otherwise, just check in the manual to confirm on everything. Then next up for your I.O., you do have a four USB 2.0 ports right here. You do have your HDMI version 2.01, your DisplayPort version 1.0. Four. You do have uh, three USB 3.2 Gen 2 10 gigabit uh, ports right there in red. You have a single USB 3.2 Gen 2 X2 type C port running at uh, 20 gigabits per second. You have a very nice 2.5 gigabit a second Ethernet port. Your Wi-Fi 6E connections along with a Bluetooth 5.2. And then also you do have your standard audio connections with your SPDIF out and then so on. And finishing up with some additional connections around the board again you do have your dual 8 pin cpu power connectors your 24 pin motherboard power you have your one and a two five volt addressable rgb header along with your 12 volt rgb header here you have your one two three and a four pmw fan headers you have your usb type c front panel connector you have a usb three front panel connector here type a and then you do have your normal two usb front headers here here, along with your Thunderbolt header right here as well for additional add-on card. So that's pretty much it for our look at the MSI Mega B660M Mortar Wi-Fi DR5 board. There we go, I got everything. <laughs> now again, unfortunately, this is not a full review, but we are planning to build with this board, which is waiting for stock of the RTX 3050s to actually launch here in South Africa, which is just a struggle, it looks like. Uh, nobody really has. So once we have one of those GPUs on hand, we're going to do a nice little build, which I think is going to be very nice. So the 12400, the RTX 3050, the MSI Mortar B660 board, and also maybe some Kingston SSDs or some MSI SSDs as well there. So stay tuned for that. I'm looking forward to doing a, one, a video like that. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you did enjoy this video, please like, share, subscribe, and comment like always. And if you guys want to get any of this for yourself, I will leave links in the video description. But anyway, with all of that said, I do hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see all of you next time. Cheers, guys.